Hey friends, Pastor Dave here again for our daily devotional. And today I wanted to ask you a question. What do you think people will say about you when you're gone? I was at a funeral this past week. They had some good things to say. It made me think about what legacy do we leave behind? Let's talk about that on Something Deeper. So this past Friday, I was at the funeral of a friend, Robert. I remember Robert, he was always smiling. He always had wonderful things to say, very encouraging things to say, a uh, very kind and loving man. His mannerisms were just kindness. And uh, he also was a man of faith. He wanted people to know how good God was and how people should give their lives to Jesus. That was the most important thing to him. And. There was a lot of good things like that said at his funeral. I knew a lot of those things. One thing I didn't know was what a nice voice he had. They had a video of Robert singing, and he sang, I can't help falling in love with you. And at first I couldn't tell. I said, that's Robert there, but I wonder if he's lip syncing because it sounded professional. Well, he just had a beautiful voice. So there was a lot of good things about Robert. But you know, the nicest thing that I think was said at that funeral was one of his daughters. She had become his daughter um, later in life, uh, as a teenager or 20 years old, somewhere in there. I don't remember exactly. But she said before that, she didn't really respond well to thinking of God as her father because she didn't know her biological father and and that didn't really resonate with her. And she said, I never really knew what that meant until I became Robert's daughter. And the way he treated her from the very beginning made her realize what a loving father was like. And she said, now I understand about the love of my heavenly father. Can you think of anything nicer to say about somebody? Sometimes it's sad that The nicest things we hear about somebody are after they're gone. But his life was a life that should have been celebrated. And so I was really glad that I went to the funeral. I think it's a good thing to celebrate somebody's life. Acts chapter 9, starting at verse 36, talks about somebody who died. It says, In Joppa there was a disciple named Tabitha. In Greek her name is Dorcas. She was always doing good and helping the poor. There in one verse, we see all this good stuff. She was the disciple. This is the only time that the feminine version of the word disciple is used in the New Testament. So she's a disciple of Jesus Christ. Her name is Tabitha, which means gazelle. And she was always doing good and helping the poor. That's what we know about her. Verse 37 says, About that time she became sick and died, and her body was washed and placed in an upstairs room. Lida was near Joppa. So when the disciples heard that Peter was in Lydda, they sent two men to him and urged him, Please come at once. Peter went with them, and when he arrived, he was taken upstairs to the room. All the widows stood around him, crying and showing him the robes and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was still with them. What a beautiful picture. Here she's passed away, and yet all the widows are gathered around, and they're showing the fruit of Tabitha's labors, what she had done to help other people. They all showed all these things. I think of some of the people in our church who are just wonderful servants of others, and they could, they could have a group of people come to them and show them all the wonderful things that they have poured into their life. Peter sent them all out of the room. Then he got down on his knees and prayed. Turning toward the dead woman, he said, Tabitha, get up. She opened her eyes, and seeing Peter, she sat up. He took her by the hand and helped her to her feet. Then he called for the believers, especially the widows, and presented her to them alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many people believed in the Lord. Peter stayed in Joppa for some time with a tanner named Simon. So here's the story that just has all the hallmarks of regular life. 
And yet, there's a concern. Because this woman that wasn't famous, wasn't powerful, but she was kind. And a lot of people cared for her. People went to the next town to find Peter to say, Come here, Tabitha is sick. They were concerned for her. They were concerned for themselves because she meant so much to them. You know, one thing is the, the more you're loved, the more pain there is when, they're go- when you're gone. Sometimes we want to hold on to people and keep them here in this world, but the next world is a better place. We have to remember that. God doesn't choose to raise everyone back to life again. And that's probably a good thing. Because this world doesn't have near the blessing of the next world. But one of the blessings in this world was this Lady Tabitha, who did so much for others. And people were so concerned, they brought Peter. And Peter prayed for her. And through God, she had a new life. What a beautiful story. What will people show from your life when you're gone? As the saying goes, there's only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. I hope you have a reputation as somebody who loves, somebody who serves, and someone who's a blessing to all who know you. If not, take it to God. Ask him to make you that kind of person. We need more of those. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this example. I pray that we would be more and more like Tabitha, that we would be people that would love, that would serve, and that would bless. I know it's only by your Spirit, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you all. Love you all. Take care and have a great week.